If you're going to add a printer in Big Sur, you need to go into your system preferences. You can find it in the dock or the Apple in the upper left hand corner. And here you're going to go to printers and scanners. You can also type in the search field in the top right corner and it will highlight where you can find the printers. On the left we're going to click the plus button. It's going to search the network for your printer. So you'll need to have your printer set up on the network on Wi-Fi or via Ethernet. Show you the name, which you can change, and uh, location. And then it'll show you what driver it's going to use. In this case, it's uh, using the Secure Air Print. After it's been named and you've got your driver, you can click Add and uh, it'll do a setup and you'll see your printer appear in the list on the left hand side of printers and scanners. And obviously if your printer has scanning capability um, you'll have that ability uh, in here to uh, do as well. So select the printer or scanner you want and click scan, click open scanner and you'll get another dialog. You'll see in the top right hand corner there, we can display that scanner page. It'll make a connection. You can choose where you want your scans to go. You can also choose the size. And then if you click on the show details button, um, you'll see a few more options. Um, kind, whether it's going to be color or black and white, or if you're just scanning text, resolution, size of the paper, obviously the orientation. Again, you get to choose the folder you want to scan to. And then a default name of scan. And then the format, JPEG, PNG, um, PDF at the bottom there, that's obviously a popular one. You can scan multiple doc sheets, I would say, into one document. And you can do image correction if you want, brightness, tint, temperature, saturation, etc. And then if you mess with that and you want to restore to defaults, there's a restore to default button. And the enable edge detection is uh, for the uh, paper that you put into your scanner. So if you find that you've got some problems with your your printers, you can also reset your printing system. Now if you do this, it's going to remove all of the printers that you have in your list there. So make sure you know what you're doing when you do that. But once that's gone, you can always just add them back in. Again, you hit the plus, find your printer on the network, and fill out the information appropriately. All right, and after you click Add, you'll find your printer back in uh, your printer list. And then, of course, at that point, if there's an old printer or um, maybe you created two printers, you can hit the negative uh, so that you can remove the old one or one you don't need. You can also share this printer on the network. Uh, be careful with that. This computer needs to be on in order for other computers to print through it to your printer. Usually it's better just to connect to the printer directly.